Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson. Pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters. Let us prepare ourselves to encounter Jesus, our risen Lord, in this Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the font of baptism have made new those who believe in you. Keep safe those reborn in Christ, that defeating every onslaught of error, they may faithfully preserve the grace of your blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up, and we walked and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was pa passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, 
who has been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once. And all the inhabitants of Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now, during those days, she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Lida was near Joppa, the disciples hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with a request, Please, come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs, where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and clocks and that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. And when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bands. To you I will offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of his disciples who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by my Father. As a result of this, Many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the words of Peter in our gospel today are very moving. He said to Jesus, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. Kanino pa ba kami pupunta, Panginoon? Nasa sa iyo ang salitang nagbibigay buhay. Peter said this in response to the question of Jesus to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Because many of the disciples of Jesus turned their backs and left him because they could not accept the teachings of Jesus. After listening to Jesus talk about himself as the bread of life, after telling those listening to him that they should eat his flesh and drink his blood that they may have life within them, they said, this is hard teaching. We could not accept it. Hindi nila matanggap ang sinasabi ni Jesus na kailangang kainin ang kanyang katawan at inumin ang kanyang dugo. Kaya naman, tinalikuran nila si Jesus at iniwan. And so Jesus turned to the twelve, to his intimate companions, and ask them, Do you also want to leave? Iiwan nyo rin ba ako dahil hindi nyo matanggap ang aking mga itinuturo? At sumagot si Pedro, E eh, kanino pa ba kami pupunta, Panginoon? Kung iiwan ka namin, kanino pa kami pupunta? Sa'yo lamang namin natagpuan ang salitang nagbibigay buhay. To whom shall we go? This is also the question of Aeneas and 
the family and friends of Tabitha in our first reading today. Aeneas was paralyzed for eight years. Imagine his condition, eight long years of being paralyzed. And Tabitha, who died because of an illness. In this desperate situation, to whom did they go? To Peter. And Peter, by the power of Jesus, healed Aeneas and raised Tabitha back to life. Dumating sila sa punto na hindi na nila alam kung saan sila pupunta at lumapit sila kay Pedro at sa pamamagitan ni Pedro, pinagkaloob ni Jesus ang kagalingan at ang muling pagkabuhay. My dear brothers and sisters, have you reached that point in your life when you also said, To whom shall I go? Where else should I go? Dumating na ba sa punto ng iyong buhay na parang dumating ka na sa dead end? Parang wala ka ng ibang pupuntahan. Wala ka ng ibang malalapitan. Wala ka ng ibang maaasahan. That moment in your life when you also said, To whom shall I go? Kanino pa ba ako lalapit? Kanino pa ba ako hihingi ng tulong? Kanino pa ba ako aasa? To whom shall I go? These words I heard from families of those who were affected by COVID-19 and were in a critical condition. Yung mga pamilya ng mga nagkaroon ng COVID-19 na naka-intubate, hindi na alam kung anong gagawin, sila rin nagtatanong, kanino pa ba kami pupunta? Sino pa ba ang aming aasahan? Kanino pa ba kami hihingi ng tulong? Yung mga taong naghahanap ng ospital para i-admit ang kanilang mahal sa buhay na may karamdaman. Sila rin nagtatanong, sino pa ba ang dapat naming lapitan para lamang magkaroon kami ng lugar sa ospital? Yung mga taong nawala ng trabaho, nawala ng hanap buhay, nawala ng ipangkakain sa kanilang pamilya, sila rin nagtatanong, saan pa ba kami pupunta? Yung mga taong maagang maaga pipila para makakuha ng makakain sa mga community pantries. Kung meron ba silang mapagkukunan ng pagkain dahil meron silang pera, magtsatsaga kaya sila na madaling araw palang pumila? Siguro wala na talaga silang mapuntahan. Wala na talaga silang maasahan. To whom shall we go? And in the midst of this pandemic, many times, each one of us has asked that question, To whom shall we go? And even people who do not believe in God, even people who despise God, also said, Wala na. Only God can end this pandemic. My dear brothers and sisters, when you have reached the dead end, when you think you have nowhere else to go, Jesus tells you, you can come to me. Come to me. Wala tayong ibang mapupuntahan kundi si Jesus. Because only in Jesus can we find salvation. Only in Jesus, we can find life. Only in Jesus, we could find our resurrection. To whom shall we go? My dear brothers and sisters, 
we have nowhere else to go but to Jesus alone. Christ brings us the words of eternal life, and we believe. With that faith, we can confidently beseech our Father in heaven to hear the prayers of this community. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the leaders of the church may follow the Lord with all their heart, mind and strength let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the leaders of troubled nations may work tirelessly to bring peace and justice to their countries let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may realize that god gives us the greatest proof of his love in the abiding presence of the Blessed Sacrament. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those suffering from lingering illnesses may find inner peace in the assuring words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the dead may experience the everlasting peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, your Son, as the words of life, we have nowhere to go but to Him. Our prayers are offered in His name, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, He never ceases to offer Himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before You. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in Your praise. 
and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Regina, <laughs>